This is Pastor Gary for A Moment in the Word. Pastor Phil returns next week. Our moment this week is about restoration and hope. It seems we cannot have one without the other. Our Bible text comes from Jeremiah 32, 17, where he says, Ah, Lord God, behold, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and outstretched arm. There is nothing too hard for you. Have you ever had anything restored? A car, a photograph, maybe some furniture? Restore defined is to bring back to or put back into a former or original state, to renew. God is the master of restoration and we people are his biggest and finest project. God is merciful and forgiving by nature. The Bible describes him as the God of compassion and mercy, slow to anger and filled with unfailing love and faithfulness. In the year 586 BC, shortly before Jerusalem was sacked and its population exiled by the Babylonian army, the prophet Jeremiah did an unusual thing. He bought property. From a human perspective, this would seem to have been a strange transaction. But when we explore the reason behind it, we see that this purchase was a carefully crafted prophetic message of hope. The people of Judah could not say they had not been warned. For centuries, God had sent messengers to them, as well as to the northern kingdom of Israel, to tell of the coming judgment. Yet they they refused to repent. Now they were nearing the fulfillment of the prophecy that they would be captured and taken into exile. The process had begun, and the city of Jerusalem had been under siege for three years. There was a lull in the fighting around Jerusalem, and Jeremiah was just going to tend to some family business. In the process, he was falsely accused and arrested. In the middle of that, God gave him hope. Indeed, while Jeremiah was under house arrest in the court of the palace guard, Hanamel, his cousin, came from Anathoth and said, Please, buy my field at Anathoth in the land of Benjamin. By law, you have the right to buy it before it is offered to anyone else. So buy it for yourself. This is what God told Jeremiah earlier would happen. And now it did. Jeremiah was the relative who served the role of the Redeemer and was to preserve the family's financial integrity. The interesting thing here was it was a prophetic transaction showing how God himself would fulfill the role of Redeemer for Israel. God would not allow his people to be alienated from him permanently, but would redeem them in exile, restoring them to the land and to fellowship with him. It is difficult to believe for good things while in the midst of catastrophe, wouldn't you agree? But because Jeremiah had heard from God, he was able to look past his circumstances and see that all was not lost. God was still working through him and his prophecies. No matter how discouraged they became during the time of exile, they still had the hope and promise of God that they would be restored. When we are discouraged by our current situation and it seems there is no hope in sight, we can remember that God never forgets his own. We can trust that he always keeps his promises to us. Our full restoration has been purchased by the sacrificial blood of Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, which gives us great hope. God's people are called to live in hope. Even when we wander far from God's will and find ourselves living through nasty circumstances, God still has a plan for restoration. He passionately desires our return and waits to be gracious to us. Do not let hardships or suffering turn you away from the only one who can help you. In time, you will see his saving power through Jesus Christ, his son, at work in your life. Be like Jeremiah. Hear God speak to you and grab on to hope. God is the one who restores. Allow him to work on you not only to restore, but to make you new. Is anything too hard for the Lord? This is Pastor Gary for a moment in the Word. Thank you for joining us. Need prayer? Email us at church at southsideag.com.
and we will pray for you.